Well, good morning, everybody. Apache fog across the area, and of course, it is dense in some areas as well. We can see that over at the Savannah Hilton Head International Airport, where the temperature is 50 degrees. That's pretty common across the area with upper 40s to lower 50s this morning, but even some lower 60s, very warm from Vidalia down toward Waycross with those lower 60s around. And we definitely have that fog for most everybody in the low country and coastal empire this morning. Make sure you're not using your high beams. Give other people some space on the road this morning as well. The fog is going to last you for the next few hours. Thankfully, we're not having any additional moisture out there. Farrah and Farrah First Alert Live Radar. It is dry, but that's not going to be the case on Wednesday. Big picture setup here. We've got a cold front that's going to sweep across the southeast here today. This arrives in our area on Wednesday. So we have another dry day on tap before those showers and storms make their way toward us here in the low country in the coastal empire. But hey, take a look at that weekend. It will be a nice and dry one. Let's talk about the rain that's on the way, though, because we could actually have some stronger thunderstorms closer to middle Georgia, but including some of our western communities with some brief gusty wind, even the chance for an isolated tornado or two not out of the question. So watch these showers and storms come through here on Wednesday, moving into our western communities there around lunchtime. Savannah staying dry until we get to the mid afternoon. This line of showers and storms races on through during the afternoon, pushing offshore as we get closer to sunset. Some of these showers still clinging to the coast, though, as we head into about dinner time on Wednesday. Then we've got some drier air, some cooler air coming in behind this front, and we'll talk about it right after this.